Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing something completely cringeworthy. I'm going to be doing the how I did my makeup in high school challenge. Okay, so this is kind of going to be more like how I did my makeup in like middle school to high school because at the beginning of middle school, didn't wear makeup. At the end of high school, didn't wear makeup. I just didn't have time for it, didn't see the point in it, and yeah. However, from 7th grade until mid 10th grade, that is a little phase I like to call my emo phase. Now, I'm still an emo at heart. I love me some My Chemical Romance. I love all that music I used to listen to. It's still all on my phone. Um, I still like all black. And I like all black makeup sometimes. But now I know how to do it better. I was... pretty bad back then. Um, I didn't wear foundation, nothing like that. All I have... is this eyeshadow palette. Three colors. Black, silver, and white. Um, it's LA Colors. Probably spent like two dollars on it at CVS. I have used this recently and this is actually not the palette I used to use. I think I used to use a Maybelline one, but they didn't have it and I got this for cosplay purposes so I could use the white. Yeah. Basically, the only color I've used out of it is the white. Um, this purple Hot Topic eyeshadow. For those days that I wanted to be a little more colorful. Dark purple lip gloss. Um, this is the one that I hate from Forever 21 that I just got. I actually don't have my Kat Von D one anymore. This is the closest one I have in color to that, so I'm just going to use this and take it off as soon as possible after this video. And, of course, eyeliner. Now, this is a slightly classier dollar store eyeliner than I used to use. I used to use not the automatic kind, I used to use the pencil kind, but all I have is the automatic kind because I've learned. And liquid eyeliner. Again, different liquid eyeliner than I used to have because I couldn't find one like that. I actually still like that kind better, the one with the little paintbrush on the end instead of the little pen. I don't like the little pen. I'm bad at using the little pen. And of course, I'm going to be using my contour palette for a mirror, because this is a really good mirror. Okay, so I'm not going to be using any makeup brushes in this tutorial because even though I did use makeup brushes back then I wasn't very good at it and more often than not I just used that little thing that came with the eyeshadow because I didn't know what I was doing so I am going to start with the eyeliner now, this is not normal eyeliner. This is, you know, emo kid eyeliner all over the place. Not neat, not good, very good looking. And just generally, you know, everywhere. Okay, so I would always start Basically like this, you know, normal waterline lining. And then really focusing it in. Just using my finger to clean it up. So, you know. And then, after the waterline, Pull it down below the waterline. Again, just kind of drag my finger under there. Now, my emo phase was also my Adam Lambert phase, so I wanted to be like him and have eyeliner super dark. And yeah. 
So that's how I did. My eyeliner was always eyeliner first, never eyeliner second. Now, for the fun of trying to use one of these things again. I have not used one of these things in a really long time. This one has been used because I did someone else's makeup and didn't have brushes with me and they needed their makeup done. So I just used this. Um, yeah. I'm just gonna take one I haven't used on somebody else. <laughs> Still not good quality. Just get that all covered in black. I did tap off the excess because I kind of knew better, but not really. These things are actually really hard to use when you haven't used them in a long time. I never realized how bad that actually feels. Oh god, I'm- this is- this is taking me back. This is reminding me of when, you know, I did my makeup in the school bathroom and took it off before I went home because I wasn't allowed to wear makeup until like 10th. Well, technically I was allowed to in ninth grade. I just would never have been allowed to wear makeup like this. And this is the kind of makeup I wanted to wear. Get that nice and raccoony. Like, I mean, look at that. Look at that gorgeous, dark. Emo raccoon wannabe makeup right there. So, this was, you know, my typical makeup look. Oh, and of course, you got a highlight. And, uh, I did not know any better than to use anything other than white as a highlighting color. So, let me just go from raccoon to panda real quick. Like, look at that beautiful panda attractiveness right there. Now, I did know well enough that I was supposed to blend. Of course, I didn't know I was supposed to blend with anything good. I just, you know, used my finger to smudge that out. Mix the two colors together. And if that wasn't emo enough for you, it gets better. Adding the liquid eyeliner. Shit. Uh, that almost went really badly and the liquid eyeliner almost just went all over the place. That, yeah, seems like what my life was. I think that's a sign telling me never to put this kind of makeup on my face again. It's just some fantastic raccoon eyeliner right there. And just in case all of this wasn't bad enough for you, I had to add a little more. Put three dots of eyeliner next to each of my eyes. Cause I was so cool. Yeah. I was, you know, obviously one of the popular people in school. And now, gonna add in that little bit of purple. Right underneath my eyeliner. Because if Gerard Way can do it, why can't I? Except I didn't want to do red, I wanted purple. Yeah. That was some fantastic makeup that I did in high school. I was emo trash queen, basically. And now, for the final touch, because I didn't do foundation, I didn't do any of that stuff. 
And of course, it wasn't liquid lipstick I was using, and it wasn't matte. It was the Kat Von D lip, like dark purple lip gloss. Um, so you know, I had one high quality product. So yeah, this was my emo trash queen high school makeup look because I kind of thought it was cool. And Sad thing is, I kinda still think it's really cool, and I want to recreate it in, you know, a better version, using some better quality products and makeup brushes so it's all blended nicely, but I might kinda do this as a Halloween look, because I actually am still kind of enjoying what I've done, and this is a problem, but... I'm still into the whole goth emo stuff, and I actually really like how this looks. So I'm gonna try and recreate it in a uh, less messy, nicer looking way. Because why not? But yeah, this is my high school makeup look.